Hey everyone, um, this week's vlog is slightly different, uh, I'll explain in a moment why I haven't done any running, but it's also a good opportunity for me to talk about how the training has gone so far, uh, things that I'm looking to improve, things that I'm happy with and things that I'm thinking about long term. So first of all, um, I finished last week's 20 miler on the Saturday. On the Sunday uh, when I woke up, my partner and my daughter uh, both tested positive for COVID. So I um, scrapped the run and I thought, okay, I won't run Sunday because I've got to be at home. They, they weren't in a very good, good place, so I did that. Then Monday, I woke up to go for work, tested, and I'm positive as well. So that puts a real spanner in the works. Um, first and foremost, you know, I'm, I had a bit of a rough, rough 24 hours, 40 hours or so, uh, but overall feeling fine myself, a um, little bit tired and a little bit of a sore throat. They were the only sort of real adverse effects I had as a result of being positive with COVID. Of course, I don't know what the long term effects may well be at this point. So everything I say is on the understanding that my body gets back to somewhat normal in a relatively quick space of time. So let's talk about the the plan for the ultra then. We'll go reverse. So we'll talk about the day and then I'll talk to you about kit and nutrition, hydration, all that stuff. So the day, as you know, I've been looking to achieve a sub 10 hours. Um, there's going to be A, B and C goals. Uh, a goal is sub 10 hours. Uh, B goal is to PR, beat last year's time, or PB, PR, PB, whatever. And uh, the C goal is just to finish. C goal, there's going to be a C goal there and uh, I'm aiming to finish with the C goal. So that's the, the kind of the overarching plan. Now in terms of my training, um, last year I had so much freedom and I took it for granted really how much I would be able to just go and run whenever I wanted. Now with a little girl in the house, um, it, it hasn't been possible. Yeah, I've been trying to be a good partner and a, and a good dad and uh, there have been times where health has been an issue in the house. So I've had to make sure that I've been there. I've had to cancel some runs, move some runs around. I've not been able to run the distance or time on legs at the weekend because of family time and I, you know I wouldn't change that I wouldn't change that at all uh, running is running I can do it for the rest of my life but not being here at this point for my daughter or my, my partner just seems a bit ludicrous to me so um, that's meant that I haven't got in the work that I thought I would be able to get in and the work that I need to be able to get in in order to achieve sub 10. Now mentally I feel absolutely fantastic about the event but physically I think I'm going to become slightly unstuck with being able to um, hold the pace that I want over the distance. However, um, got to be realistic, got to face facts about what my current um, situation is, my life and how it differs from last year. So I'm going to do my level best to reach the start line fit, healthy and ready to give it a go um, but it may well need some adjusting of the plan uh, and I might have to slip into that sort of B and C goal territory however I remain fully focused on trying to achieve sub 10 hours we'll see how we go now I remember last year I did have an injury as well which put me back significantly from just over halfway um, so if I remain injury free for the run that should also allow me to just at least navigate the course in a more um, efficient manner towards the end. In terms of uh, kit, it's very similar to last year. Um, I'm going to be wearing either a uh, black diamond or Jimmy Sharp t-shirt, the nice and breathable. The black diamond one that recently came to my position, I was gifted it, so I haven't really put enough miles in it to know. But the Jimmy Sharp ones are really, really great. They're cheap. Um, I can just chuck it away at the end if it gets completely wrecked. Um, and it served me so well last year, especially the weather's going to be warmer um, last year. Again, the conditions are absolutely ideal this year. Who knows if we're going to have a heat wave or not. Shorts, Salomon S Lab shorts, my favourite shorts. I've worn them for, I don't know, 90% of my runs in my entire running career. Uh, socks, dry max, compression calf sleeves and the shoes, as you'll be familiar with, are the speed coat fours. Not the fires, but the fours. Salomon XA cap. 
and um, the vest, which has been a big sort of I don't know, question mark. I've had the, the naked vest, I tried running with that. Uh, I've tried running with the Alter Direction the Hard Rock vest. And again, recently I was gifted the Black Diamond vest, which is a superb vest. The only issue I'm having at the moment is a slight bit of bounce when it's not fully loaded. If it's fully loaded, the bottles don't bounce, they don't cause me any issues. But when I take too much out of it, and I try and run with it just as bottles in a vest, I get a lot of smashing of the ribs down the left hand side. But anyway, that's something to just be thinking about and considering hydration is going to be tailwind and water nutrition is going to be unived um the gels um not the elite version the smaller version i find the elites just slightly too much um some cliff bars some ultra run butter and uh, maybe some solid food but i haven't quite thought about what it's going to be yet i need to also think about my, my approach as to how i'm going to be managing solid food versus gels um, I believe, if I remember correctly, the idea is that you eat your solid food early on in the race because then when your stomach can't handle it later on, uh, you just revert to gels, which are easier to put down. So that's that. I mean, let's say overall, I'm feeling really pumped about it. I'm really excited about it. It's just there's a lot of stuff that's been going on in this training, of course, now with COVID, um, that's just making it quite tricky. Um, some things that I think are going really well, though, the the training portion of it i focused a lot more on the elevation a lot more on the hills and thanks to guildford trail runners and thanks to ben especially for getting me out there and helping me with my, my trails and specifically finding hills in my local area because that's something i neglected last year i put a lot of work into just general mileage um but i didn't really do enough on the trails and i didn't know about it i didn't know the significance of it so um yeah, until recently, I did, I've done a lot of elevation, did quite a bit of speed work around my local area, pushing the pace, 20 mile as you know the other day was my fastest 20 miler ever. Uh, again, pushing pace, it's not really connected necessarily with um, the 50 mile goal, but if I'm able to hold you know, a, a much faster pace over that 20 mile mark, it just puts me in a better uh, space of fitness, I think, to be able to tackle the ultra a little bit more efficiently. So there's kind of the update. Um, we haven't got long to go, about two months or so. The weather can change, health can change, family can change, all sorts of things. But ultimately this time around, I've not been able to do what I in expected I would be able to do. But I've got to prioritise the two most important things in my life right now. And that's my partner and my family. Thank you so much for following along this journey. I do really appreciate it. I'm doing my very best to deliver on the day. Deliver a result of sorts, A, B or C. And um, yeah, I say I've, I've had such a fun training block, but uh, it's it's been interesting for me mentally to try and be OK with adjusting my goals um, because I only really wanted to do this one more time, do the 50 mile, get the result and then kind of put it to rest. I wouldn't necessarily want to have to repeat this again uh, next year, certainly not um, if I don't achieve the goal, but it's just a running race. We do our best, don't we? One foot in front of the other. Thank you. Any questions, comments, thoughts, feedback down below? Much love.